Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out this video. In this video, I want to show you guys how to play the song In Jesus Name, God of Possible by Katie Nicole. I'm only going to show you guys one way how to play it, and that way requires the use of a capo. If you guys need a capo, check out the links down below in the description box, and you can buy one that's best for you. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I'm Andrew. I'm a worship leader at my local church, and on the channel, you'll find worship leading tips and tutorials. If that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit the like button for this video, and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos and help out the channel so much. But without any further ado guys, let's get right into the lesson for In Jesus Name by Katie Nicole. Alright guys, so In Jesus Name by Katie Nicole is originally in the key of G flat or F sharp. The tempo is 72 beats per minute and the time signature is 4-4. And like I mentioned before, we will be using a capo for this lesson, but before I show you where to put the capo and what chords to play, I want to show you the strumming pattern first. The strumming pattern that we'll use will remain consistent throughout the whole song and with each section of the song. The strumming pattern that we'll use will go something like this. It's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. That strumming pattern again will be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And what I'll do with the strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. If you struggle with the strumming pattern, no worries. Just try your best, keep practicing it, and you'll get it. So now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you where we're going to put our capo and what chords to play. So we're going to take our capo and place it on the fourth fret of the guitar and play our key of D chords. And with our key of D chords, we're gonna play a total of five chords within the key of D, so we'll use the following chords. It's going to be a D chord. You can use your standard D major chord, or you can use a D sus chord, which I'll be using for this lesson. We'll also be playing an A major chord. You can play your standard A major, or you can play an A sus chord, which I'll be using for this lesson as well. The next chord we'll play is an E minor, or E minor seven. And the last chord that we'll play will be a G chord. So to start off the song, Katie Nicole goes straight into the verse. So we'll play the verse first and we'll play the following chord progression. It will be a B minor. G. D. And A play that chord progression twice for the verse. The verse will go something like this. I speak the name of Jesus over you. In your hiding, in your sorrow. I speak the name cause all that I can do. In desperation I'll seek heaven. So then after the verse, we're going to go straight into the chorus. And for the chorus, we're actually going to play the same chord progression that we just played for the verse. So the B minor, G, D, and A. And we're going to play that two more times for the chorus. The chorus will go something like this. I pray for your healing. Circumstances will change. In Jesus' name, I pray that I pray. So then after the chorus, Katie Nicole goes back into a second verse, and that second verse is the same chord progression as the first verse, so no changes there, and she goes back into a second chorus, which is the same chord progression as the first chorus, so no changes there. So then after the chorus, we can go straight into the bridge, and for the bridge, we will play a different chord progression, so we'll play the following chords. It's going to be an E minor. 
G, D, and A. And we'll play that chord progression twice for the bridge. The bridge will sound something like this. Come believe it, come receive it, all the power of the spirit is not forever yours. Come believe it, come receive it, in the mighty name of Jesus, all things are possible. And so then after the bridge, Katie Nicole goes back into a chorus for one last time. And that's the same chord progression as before, so no changes there. And so to ultimately conclude the song, we can go ahead and play a D chord. And that's pretty much how we can play In Jesus Name, God of Possible by Katie Nicole. All right, guys, so that's the lesson for In Jesus Name, God of Possible by Katie Nicole. If you have any questions up to this point, let me know down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys have any other song ideas or requests that you want to see for future videos, I would love to see those ideas. Leave them down below. Below. And before you guys leave the video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. It will help out the channel tremendously. But overall, guys, I really hope that this lesson was useful to you. Remember to keep safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.